What up YouTube? I am going to show you how to make a leather patch hat. Stitch to leather patch hat. All you need are thread or needle, needle, sewing needle. I've done seven outtakes. This is my first YouTube video. I've done seven outtakes. I've said thread every single time. I'm not deleting. Okay, all you need is a needle. All right, sewing needle, basic sewing needle, got it at Hobby Lobby and wax thread, all right? These are things you probably don't have, okay? So you're gonna need to go out and get these. I got this on Amazon, $4.99, $5.99. The thread, or the needle, I don't know why I wanna say thread every time. The needle is less than $2, okay? So we're, we're not even at $10 yet. You're also going to need leather patches, all right? This is probably the part that's maybe the trickiest to start out. This is my trickiest. I started out stamping all of them. I started out trying to make them on my own of uh, by hand. Just don't turn out as clean because I'm not as skilled. There are people that can do it that are ridiculous that can make anything with their hands. Uh, Carving-wise, they're ridiculous artists. Uh, those people do incredible work. But these are made on laser engraving machine. These are made on Glowforge, all right? Uh, they already have the holes laser engraved into them. If you want some of these, our email is below. You can order some, custom ones, uh, anything you want. Anything, any logo. This is our branded logo for rodeo. We have a rodeo coming up. Um, it's got a little steer uh, skull on it. Sykeston, Missouri, the Heel Apparel Co. That's our company's name. We do have branded ones. We also make custom ones. So you're going to need that. You're going to need a leather patch. You're going to need a hat. All right. You're going to need a hat. We got a Yupong Classic right here. I've started stitching on this because I've made so many videos where I've messed up. It's okay, though. I'm going all the way through on this one. You're going to need this hat. All right. Uh, any hat. We use or Yupong and Richtons. Richtons are the most popular. Yupongs are really good hats. I try to steer customers. Customers usually think only Richardson, and this is actually a solid hat. I have buddies that only want this hat now. Uh, they just didn't know before because they'd never had it. So what you're going to do is you're going to glue that patch onto the hat. Uh, I've used Elmer's glue. I've used 15 different types of glue. You can go to Walmart. You can pick up a bottle of glue. No problem. Or you might even have some at the house. That saves you a little bit of money. So I've got my thread here, my needle here. I'm going through the hole on the needle with a thread. Went through, pull it a little bit. All right, go about a half inch down. I'm going through the thread, okay? Then pull it tight, pull it tight all the way down. It's not going anywhere. If that gets loose or anything like that, you might have to redo it. When I first started out, I was redoing it all the time. Uh, just because I didn't really keep that tight. If you don't keep it tight at the end, you'll constantly have to redo it. Redo your threading. That's probably not the most efficient way to thread a needle either, but it just works for me. Next up, these finger gloves. All right, I got these on Amazon. You can get a pack for less than 10 bucks that comes with like 20 of them. You'll be good to go. These will save your hands so much pain and trouble. Take it from me that did it with, for a whole year without these. What an idiot I am. Okay, learn from my mistakes. Save your hands, okay? Keep these. So, take a look at this. I've started this on a film in the previous video, but what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna see where you're stitching next on the backside too. Okay, I've already punched this needle through the holes right here. So, I go counterclockwise. I'm coming back down in this hole. I've already been through this hole once, all right? Coming back, I'm stitching. There we are. As you can see. Find the hole, the next hole, upper hole right there. Next loop, I come back through, I pull it tight. And now I'm ready to go clockwise to that hole I just came out of before. Find it, stitch through. Once you have proper lighting, I, I usually don't stitch in here. I usually have an overhead light that's really good. Uh, or I use this ring light that I'm using right now for the video. And uh, I can see it real quick and I just go. Uh, 
all the way around. I'm going clockwise. I'll just stitch, probably stitch just a few more holes in this and just show you what I'm doing. All you need is your hands, these finger gloves, thread, needle, okay? You can make $10,000 in a month with this and social media. Money-wise, what I'm using right now, less than, I have less than $30 here, okay? This Facebook page is free, an Instagram page is free. I've, I'm two years in business, uh, rarely run ads. I do whenever, uh, I do occasionally, I'll run some Facebook ads not that savvy in them just yet but uh i've done over ten thousand dollars in a month with just making leather patch ass with my hands i know you can too it's something that is very it's time consuming but when you want to make money you want to make money okay it's it's simple as that it's something and maybe you don't even want to make money maybe you just want to make a cool hat for yourself that's a that's what i started out doing i wanted to make a cool hat for myself led to buddies that wanted cool hats for their company. That's how it ended. That's how it started out becoming a business. Everybody else wanted cool hats. Um, it just, it can, it can really have a snowball effect of uh, turning into something if you really want it to. So that's why I'm making this video to show you that you can do it yourself uh, and show what I do on the daily with leather patch hats and creating my own custom gear now I'm into, now I can make shorts, uh, t-shirts, clothing. I'm going to make other videos that I've shown what my brand is built into, what I've done myself, what I've learned, and just show mistakes that I've made that maybe help you out. What I use product-wise um, on other, other items. So I'm going all the way around counterclockwise. I'll get to the end, and it'll look like this one I've already done. Okay. You can see all the way around. I've stitched all the way around. And then when I got to the end, I cut off my thread and I burned it. I burned it right here at the end. Cover it up with the uh, flap right here so it's easy on the forehead. And then there you have it. That's a final product. All right. Right now I'm wearing a bonded leather patch hat just like this one right here. Now I don't stitch these, but there is a gluing technique a bonding agent, I should say. I don't ever really say glue. I just, because it sounds, it sounds cheap and the stuff that I use isn't really that cheap. Uh, and I've used a lot of different things. I've had so many failures with bonding uh, that I want you to learn from me. I've used, I, I'm actually wanting to use High Bond. It's a company that I've seen recently online that creates a, uh, a bond that you heat onto the back of this first and then you use uh, hat press. I have a, a 360 IQ hat press and I even use it when I'm just using the glue that I use just because it gets a full pressure on every point of this hat. But I'm also going to try that high bond. Uh, shout out to high bond. I'm going to put in an order here soon. It looks really good. I've read all the reviews. They look, it looks amazing, but I have a 360 IQ from stalls uh, that I don't know if I had the right settings. I've just I've made some mistakes, and I this is what I go with now. Uh, but I'm making another video that shows that I do a lot of these, doing them for roofers that uh, go through crazy heat here in Southern Missouri that sweat through them. I sweat like uh, like no tomorrow. I sweat like crazy. Go to the gym, wear this, no problem. Go to the lake, wear this, no problem. Go to the river, wear this, no problem. You just can't wash them. You just can't put them in the washing machine. You can't put them in the uh, uh, dishwasher. You just can't add that level of heat with the spinning and everything like that. That's the only thing I've noticed that you can't do. But these are great hats. They're more affordable for customers. Um, yeah, that is, like I said, that is the final product for stitching your own leather patch hat. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'd love to answer any. If you want to see anything else from this channel, this is the first video. So let me know how I did. Uh, like and subscribe like every other YouTuber says. And uh, also emails in the description. If you want custom leather patches to go for your own patch hats, let me know. Send me an email. We'll get you some pricing. We'll get it taken care of. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good one.